Hello there, the Acolyte trailer came out this morning at 2am and I got up to watch it because I'm an idiot, uh, And but it was fantastic. Um, watch my reaction and a mini review on this video, uh, I'll link it down in the description. Uh, and also I'm trying out some new lighting things in here because I hate the main light in this room, it's just horrible. Uh, so I'm trying out some different things with a backlight and everything like that. If it looks bad, sorry, I'm still trying to figure out something that looks nice. But now for the video, it is finally time to meet the new characters that are going to be in this show. We've known about the cast for a very long time, we've seen a few of the characters in behind the scenes shots and leaks, and we knew a few of their names, but now it's time to dive in and get to know everyone that appears in the Acolyte trailer. Almost everyone. Now the synopsis of the Acolyte is as follows. In the Acolyte, an investigation into a shocking crime spree pits a respect Respected Jedi Master Li Zhongzhe against a dangerous warrior from his past, Amandala Stenberg. As more clues emerge, they travel down a dark path where sinister forces reveal all is not what it seems. Sounds fantastic. A murder mystery in Star Wars. Hell yeah. Now first off is May, the series lead played by Amandala Stenberg. You might recognize them as Rue from the first Hunger Games movie. Now Stenberg cosplayed as Padme at Star Wars Celebration last year. They are a massive fan of the franchise. They had so much excitement and energy to be there at Celebration and it was just so much fun uh, and it's great to see them at the forefront of this project. Now they are playing May, whose description reads, May gets swept up into a sinister mystery, one that puts her into the center of a conflict in unexpected ways. Now I believe May is a former Padawan who has left the Jedi Order, while whether they left because they were seduced by the dark side of the Force, by the Sith, I don't know yet, or just for personal reasons, who knows. But I believe that May's master was Jedi Master Soul, played by Lee Jung Jae. Now you'll recognize him as the South Korean actor who was the lead in Netflix's Squid Game, if you're wondering where you've seen him before. Now his description reads, Master Soul is a wise, highly respected, powerful Jedi Master, strong in the ways of the Force, who is going through emotional conflict. So I think with someone hunting down the Jedi, I feel like Soul will cross paths with Mei and suspect Mei to be the murderer, and then maybe they'll team up to try and solve the mystery as the story progresses. Just a guess, however. Now Soul has an apprentice in in Jackie, played by Daphne Keene. You'll recognize her as Laura from Logan. Now I mistakenly called Jackie a Zabrak during the trailer because I saw the horns and I thought she was a Zabrak, but she is actually a human Thelon hybrid, which is really cool because Thelons are one of my favorite species in Star Wars. They look really cool. And one of my favorite characters, Chasna Chaddock from the Alphabet Squadron books is a Thelon. So I was very happy about this. Now Jackie's description, Jackie is the Padawan apprentice to Master Soul. Although she is young, she projects calm and conducts herself with maturity. Carrie Ann Moss, one of the biggest names in my opinion to join the Star Wars franchise, is playing Jedi Master Indara. Now I was very confused for a moment because there is a character in the High Republic called um, Indira and I thought that this was her for a moment before I realized it was a different name. Now we see Indara cross paths with Mei in that beautiful sequence in the trailer that reminds me so much of Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon. I love the martial arts um, influences in this show. And her description is very brief. Uh, master Indara is a Jedi Master of great physical and mental skill. Next up is Yord, played by Charlie Barnett, and I really like the description for this character. Yord, a Jedi Knight and Guardian from the Jedi Temple, because I believe he has a yellow lightsaber, is an overachiever and a rule follower. His need to be a by-the-book Jedi can cloud his mind. Now, I love that for a character because it reminds me a little bit of Obi-Wan uh, when compared to Qui-Gon Jinn. You know how like Qui-Gon sort of always did his own thing, went against the council a lot? Uh, and I feel like this is a bit of the antithesis of that. Someone who is like, no, the Jedi must do this, the Jedi must do that, a Jedi should be this, a Jedi should be that. I really like that for a character because I like seeing that kind of mindset be challenged and it's a great opportunity for growth. And I'm excited to see how this plays out with this character. Next up is my boy. Kalnaka, played by Juna Swapmo, and I'm so happy to see this big boy on the screen. If you haven't seen it, go and watch uh, Jonas's Star Wars Celebration interview from last year. This guy is so jazzed about this character, and his excitement is just infectious. He is just a joy to watch. He is so happy to be a part of this franchise. Now, Jonas took over from playing Chewbacca from Peter Mayhew, so he's actually been a part of the franchise for a while now, but it's so nice to see him get a character that is his own from the get-go rather than stepping into someone else's shoes and I just really love that for him. 
Kalnaka, a Wookiee Jedi, is a loner who lives a solitary life. And that sounds quite sad. I wonder how he'll fit into the story. I think he will be probably like a safe haven to where the Jedi retreats to regroup once they start getting attacked. Because I really think that we're going to see a lot of Jedi bite the dust in this show. I think there's a bunch of red shirt Jedi in this trailer and I think it'll be interesting. Also, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of some of these names, so I apologize. But next up, we have Mother Anasea, played by Jodie Turner-Smith. And her description is one of my favorites. Mother Anasea is the leader of a coven of witches who value their independence and the preservation of their belief and power. I love it. The Jedi games uh, and Ahsoka brought us more Night Sisters, and now we're getting more witches with the Acolyte. It is a side of Star Wars that I love. I really, 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 really love witches in Star Wars. I can't explain why I like it so much, I just do. And I just could not be happier about this. She really just stood out in the trailer for me. I was just captivated by her. She's just got something about her that I was just like, yeah, I'll join your cult. Because <laughs> she looks like a cult leader to me. I'm getting Path of the Open Hand vibes from her. They're a group in the um, High Republic books in Phase 2. Uh, real cult leader-like stuff, and I, I just can't wait to see more of her and her witches. Uh, now, I'm going to butcher this guy's name, and I'm so sorry. Uh, we're going to go with Kamir, or Kamir. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but he is played by Manny Jacinto from The Good Place. Uh, now, Kamir is a former smuggler who now makes his living as a trader, procuring unusual things and enjoying a life of leisure. Will he be finding or selling some Sith artifacts and find something that maybe kicks off this whole story? Who knows? But him at Celebration as well was just infectious and so happy to be there. He had that great energy around him, and I'm really excited to see him join the franchise. Finally, my girl, Vanestra Rowe, one of my favorite characters from the High Republic books. Uh, now, at this point in time in the High Republic, she is like 17 or 18 years old at the moment, and this is a big time jump from the books where they are currently to the Acolyte, so she is actually nearing like a hundred or more years old at this point. She's played by Jessica Henderson. Vanestra Rowe is an elder Jedi Master who has ascended the ranks of the Jedi from a teenage prodigy to a leader in the Order. I do wonder if she's part of the Council in this point in time. That would be very interesting. Um, I am so excited to see uh, a character from the books making that jump to live action. Uh, I cannot wait. I, I just cannot wait to see her more. She is one of my favorites and she is a fan favorite among the High Republic fans. It was a little jarring to see her, however, because in the book she has like long purple hair and here she's rocking the bald head and I was just like, that's not her, is it? But she looks cool as hell. She is a uh, Mary Allen. Is that how you say it? Mary Allen or Marilyn? I don't know. I never got the pronunciation down for that one. I'm going to say Mary Allen, but love this character. She is legitimately one of my favorites. I haven't picked up Defy the Storm yet. I need to do that. Um, and I just cannot wait to see more of her. Now we are missing a character and that is Dean Charles Chapman's character. No info on who he is just yet or none that I could find anyway. And I do wonder if he's playing someone more important and that's why they're not revealing who he is, but that's just pure speculation on my part. But yeah, those are the new characters that will be appearing in The Acolyte, which comes out on June 4th with a double episode premiere. I love that Disney does multiple episode premieres for a lot of their stuff now. It's just a good time. It's just so much fun to sit down, watch one or two or three episodes in the case of The Bad Batch. It, oh, I love it. I always go out and get like some beers and burgers and just have the best time. So yeah, those are the new characters. Now, if you like this, if you like talking about Star Wars and being positive about Star Wars, make sure you follow me here. Talking about Star Wars is my favorite thing in the world to do. And the Acolyte has me so excited. I think it looks fantastic. I love all these characters already and I can't wait to get to know them and maybe more than a couple of them as the season goes on. I have more videos about the Acolyte on the way uh, because I'm really excited about this and we got a lot of new information about the show with the release of the posters and the trailer uh, and some interviews. I'm excited to talk more about this show and to share it uh, in the lead up to it releasing. So thank you for watching and as always, may the force be with you. Always. Always.